All right, so I've got some exciting news. There is a new course now available from Long White Cloud Qigong, which of course is my Qigong school. So that is going to be the topic of this episode of Qi Life. Well, it's been a long time coming. In fact, if you have followed this Chi Life channel for a while, um, you might recall me actually making reference to, you know, in some of the previous vlogs over the last quite a while actually, making some reference to that I'm working on a course at the moment, getting the materials ready. Well, this is that course. Um, it's not a little short course. I sometimes put out quite short, concise courses on a specific practice or, you know, a very specific um, application of Qigong. This is a full 200-hour comprehensive Qigong instructor certification program. And so it really covers a lot of material, both in terms of practices and, of course, the underlying principles and philosophy behind those practices. Um, it's been in planning for quite some time. I think probably about six years. Um, because it's part of the restructuring of the Long White Cloud Qigong teaching syllabus, which I think, yeah, I think it was about six years ago that I started on that. Um, and, and yeah, so <laughs> been a long time coming. Um, we started out in terms of restructuring because under the old syllabus, there were a lot of practices that I did teach under the old syllabus, but there were some that I, I didn't get around to teaching and because I was so busy, teaching the practices that I was teaching, it was, it was hard to fit them in necessarily within the syllabus in a convenient way that was easy for people to access uh, and work with. And so, yeah, this has been a long process. Um, I, historically, there are three main applications of Qigong. Uh, now, of course, Qigong applies to everything in our lives in many ways. You know, qi, it's our life force energy. That affects absolutely everything. But there were these three broad areas or broad categories that you could think of different Qigong practices fitting into or focusing on. Now, that doesn't mean that a particular practice only sits in one of these areas, but sometimes a practice, you know, lends itself more to one application than another. It has a more direct focus on one of those applications. So those three applications were health and healing, martial arts. Now, martial arts was, a, you know, an old traditional application. In a modern context, we could also think of that as just applying to high performance in general, not necessarily in a fighting context. And then the third one was relating to spirituality or enlightenment or, or wisdom type practices, uh, applying Qigong in that way. So the first of the courses in the new restructured syllabus that I got ready was the Small Universe Qigong program. And that was the one that focuses on practices that in quite a direct way focus on the health and healing application of Qigong. Um, those practices focus very much on uh, the meridians, the organ meridians within the body. So these are the same meridians used in acupuncture. And these meridians, they quite directly affect the function of the organs. They also affect our posture, our emotions, and so on. Um, the organ meridians flow like rivers. It's a great analogy for them. Like it, it carries through so well in terms of how those meridians function. That energy from those rivers flows into the lakes and in the oceans. Uh, and within our body, or within a, an energy perspective within our body, we refer to those gathering, those pooling places of water as Dantian. So the Small Universe Qigong program also focuses on that energy flowing to the Dantian, activating the energy in the Dantian, and then circulating that energy in the extraordinary meridians. And so these meridians have a different structure from the organ meridians. They flow very much like ocean currents. Yeah, so quite different from a river, but still really important. And the function of those extraordinary meridians has a big role in affecting uh, the branches of the nervous system, the muscles, the bones, the connective tissue, and so on. That circulation of energy in the extraordinary meridians also naturally sends energy out into our energy field. And so, and, and that's where the, the energy, we can think of that as having a structure more like clouds and rain, like in our own personal atmosphere. And so the practices in small universe 
focus very directly on each of those organ meridians dantian extraordinary meridians and then the clouds and rain the energy in our energy field and that has quite a direct application to healing practice so next came the inner fire qigong program which i think came out i think i first put that one out maybe two years ago maybe a little over two years ago made that one available uh, and that contains practices that focus uh, well so a lot of them have a connection to the martial arts because they're really useful for developing that strength, that resilience, that you know, really strong vitality that's really useful within the martial arts. But the way they're taught in the Inner Fire Qigong program is not with a martial application, it's purely for those benefits, that developing the performance of your body, that really deep, rich vitality of your energy. So in there we do Inner Fire Breathwork, which is a very active dynamic type of breath work that really activates the energy uh, right through your body. We also do wild animal play. So these are quite physically strong practices, copying the movements of animals, which very actively circulates the energy in your body as well as developing physical capabilities. And also uh, iron shirt qigong, which really consolidates and builds the strength and the resilience of both the body and the energy. So yeah, direct connection in many ways to the martial arts, but we're not training it in a martial way particularly, but to develop that, that strength, that vitality, that resilience, you know, connected to that second application. And that leaves the third one, which is this course that is just available now. It's called the Elemental Alchemy Program. And this relates very much to the you know, you can term it in different ways according to how you're comfortable referring to things. You could consider it to be, um, have more of a spiritual dimension, or, you know, if that's not a word you're comfortable with, maybe relating to wisdom, relating to enlightenment. These practices focus very much on not so much the specific flows of energy in the body, not so much on the physical structures of the body, but more on the quality overall of our energy and as that moves through different phases. So specifically, so the reason for the name Elemental Alchemy is, is because of this focus on the qualities and the way they change. And in this program we go through and we focus on Wuji. So Wuji is the primordial, the formless, um, essentially our original state. It resets our energy back to, to original. It's like a factory reset. You know, if things have started to go wrong, you think of, you know, a computer where, you know, something's not working quite right. Sometimes the best thing to fix it is to turn it off and turn it on again and like, oh, things start to work properly. So that's a bit like working with Wuji within our Qigong. From there it moves into Taiji, which is yin and yang, and specifically harmony between yin and yang and the dynamic circulation activation of our energy that comes from that. So we work with practices that develop our polarity and get our energy circulating and moving uh, really strongly in a really healthy, balanced way. Then from there it progresses on to Wu Xing. So this is the five elements or the five phases and we focus on practices that work with each of those elements and, and many of those different qualities that relate to those elements. And so this is our path of progression through that. And um, as an overall result, it gives us this richer, more nuanced perspective on life and understanding of ourselves. It can really shift energy at a deep level to bring it into balance and into harmony. Now, as I mentioned, each of these different applications, and you know, we have practices that more directly focus on one area of application than another, they, they all cross over. You know, understanding better about Wuji and about yin and yang and about the five elements does have application to health, absolutely. It does have application to martial application as well, absolutely. But it most directly helps us in terms of our, our wisdom, our overall perspective on life. That's where it fits most you know, most clearly. Similarly, those inner fire practices, you know, they develop really robust physical strength and energy and well-being. That applies to our health as well, clearly. It also gives us perspective that relates to our, our wisdom, our spirituality, you know. Similarly, the understanding of the meridians, you know, this applies to the other areas too. But they, they sort of have these different focuses. And so, um, 
it's really good to finally have this this third program available for people uh, because under the old syllabus I hadn't had the opportunity to teach it fully um, because I was too busy teaching the other practices and so I hadn't had a way to present these in a way that was accessible so I could give people the depth of understanding that I really wanted them to have both for themselves and and also because uh, this is it's an instructor certification program so the idea is that many of the people who do the course some of them will do it just for their own practice but many of them will go and teach others and in order to do that I want people to understand things really well not just to be able to do some movements but really understand the principles underneath them too uh, and that is quite a process, as I mentioned, to begin with. Um, as I mentioned, the, the, the planning yeah, probably started about six years ago. Um, in terms of directly working on this course, I've probably been working on it for about 18 months. Uh, in terms of taking up a, like a large chunk of my day, a large chunk of my week, most of the time getting things ready. It's quite a process going through and thinking you know, how I want to present things, what I'm going to include, what I'm not going to include as well, uh, so that I can present things clearly without confusing people with too many red herrings and things like that, because there's so much that you can look at. But to present the principles in a way that people can readily understand, apply and experience for themselves within the practices. And when I say that this program is available now, this is the first time that it's available openly and publicly. Um, because there's actually a group that has already gone through the course. Um, I initially put it out just to, we had people waiting, you know, they, they knew it was coming, and so they're on a waiting list waiting for it, and also to some existing Long White Cloud Chico instructors who had done some of the other courses to give them the first option of going through the course, and because we had people wanting to do it, we didn't make it widely known that this was available. And so that group has finished recently, and it has been really nice to hear the feedback from them, both as they've gone through the course, um, and now also at the end, just the impact it's had on them um, across, across many levels, across, um, yeah, just their understanding of the principles of the philosophy and how that has developed for them, because many of these, you know, parts of these principles they've been exposed to in different ways before, maybe through other Qigong practices, maybe through, um, we have quite a few acupuncturists and Chinese medicine practitioners and things like that who do these courses as well. They've maybe studied these principles in, in that context as well. But how these practices have, have really, you know, helped to deepen that understanding, make it much more tangible, much more real for them. Also, the impact it's had on their personal lives. Um, physically, so again, I did mention that while, while these practices sort of have a more philosophical bent to them, um, physical health improvements, making changes, issues that people had and maybe have had for a long time being resolved. Uh, but then also that broader context in terms of how it's helped them to understand themselves better, understand situations in their life better, and to be able to start to flow more harmoniously through the patterns, through the cycles of life. So that has been really nice really nice to hear that as well because it, as I've mentioned I've mentioned several times it's a lot of work getting these courses ready and um, while I'm excited about sharing these I'm also feeling kind of a little bit exhausted because I've been working really hard over the last yeah it's probably been about 18 months um, getting this ready and that's that's probably a big part of why I haven't been making these vlogs um, all that often because I've just been so busy both getting course material ready uh, as well as running the existing courses concurrently at the same time as well so it's it's really nice to get that that feedback and see people just enjoying the practices and then also the benefits they're personally receiving from them and I'm looking forward to those people who've just finished uh, finished this course going out and then sharing those practices with others as well and you know there being a, a, a positive outward ripple effect um, from this teaching. So anyway, that's my exciting news. Um, it, as I mentioned, it's available now. Uh, we, we, do have, um, we do have a group that's open to anyone who wants to enroll uh, coming up soon. If you're new to, like a lot of you watching this channel have probably been doing Qigong for quite a while. Um, so you've, you know, you've, you might have even done some of the Long White Cloud Qigong 
courses and practices previously. So, you know, you maybe already have a good grounding in Qigong. This might be something that's interesting for you to take your knowledge further, to go a bit deeper in understanding some principles, as well as learning a, a really beautiful set of Qigong practices. Um, for others of you, you might be quite new to Qigong. Uh, if you're interested in maybe doing the Elemental Alchemy Qigong program, it, you don't need to have done a whole lot of Qigong first because the way each of these courses is run is we start from the real basics, the most basic principles, and then there's, there's a big focus on doing your own practice regularly to gain experience while you're going through the course and being supported in understanding of, of the principles as you go. So it is something that you can get into quite early on if you're quite new to Qigong, and by doing that you'll, de you'll develop a really solid base of understanding for your Qigong practice, which won't just affect your, your Qigong practice, it, it will flow out to affect lots of other things in your life as well. It will, it will help to give you a clearer, richer understanding of the flow of energy through your life. So I'll, I'll put a link to the information about the course in the description below. If you're interested in what some of the actual practices look like in the course, if you click on that link and you scroll to the bottom of the page, uh, there's a, well, like as you read down the page, I encourage you to read that, there's information about the, about the course and what's going to be in it and how it runs, its structure and things like that. If you get to the bottom, there's a week by week outline of just what we cover each week. The very first section there is like the welcome material, and you can actually preview that. You can click, there's a little, you know, button that you can click on that to open that up and preview what's in there. Um, and there's a video of one video of each of the main practices that we cover in the course. Now, I say main practices because we also cover a bunch of extra, um, more peripheral practices as well that will you know, deepen your knowledge and gives you more tools to work with these principles. Um, but, you know, you can have a little sample, a little taste and get an idea of what these practices look like, what they feel like, and if it might be something that you might be interested in pursuing. I'll also see, um, because as, as I mentioned, people are just finishing this course now, uh, we're going through a process. Again, the courses are quite comprehensive, uh, including an assessment process that we do at the end. In that assessment process, there's a written test, there's video demonstrations, and then and then we talk about things as well to really make sure that people um, really understand what they've learnt and and feel confident in that. It's it's a positive thing. It's part of the learning process. It's done in a really constructive way. So still going through the process of doing assessments of people who've finished the course, um, but there's quite a few who've finished now, um, and so we are compiling a few comments from people, you know, about their experience on the course. I'm not sure if we have that ready yet or not, but hopefully we do. Um, in which case I'll put a link to that as well so you can see what some other people um, have said about the course too. And you know, that might give you an idea if it's something you're interested in. Anyway, that's my exciting news. Um, <laughs> for a little bit of context, um, so th again, these are the three main applications of Qigong. So that these are kind of three pillars of the Long White Cloud Qigong teaching syllabus. These you know courses focusing on each of these applications and practices that relate to them. There's one more major course that I have yet to get ready and make available, and that's on the direct healing application of these practices. So not doing practices you know just for yourself but being able to harness that energy in a very direct intentional way and use it very directly for healing um and that's that's sort of the main yeah the main bulk of the syllabus, syllabus will be done i don't know how long it's going to take me to get that one ready as well again big process getting those ready um but that's that's another it's it's a really beautiful application of these principles and, and of the skill that we develop with our energy with Qigong and it, it can really be helpful for so many people in so many ways. So I'm really looking forward to that one as well. Um, I possibly need a little bit of a break from getting course materials ready for a little while um, to let me sort of re regather some of my, my own energy uh, before I get too much into that one. But yeah, looking forward to that too. But anyway, these three pillars are all available. Some people will just be interested in one of them. You know, they're like, right, I'm interested in the, the healer's path. You know, a small universe, that's for me. Um, other people might be, right, I'm interested in the more philosophical side, elementary alchemy, that's for me. Some people might be interested in the really dynamic, um, 
you know, the inner fire, that more high performance aspect, cool, that one's for them. Some people who are really interested, really want to understand Qigong well, really want to go deep, will want to do all of these because it really, by doing all of them, it really fleshes out your understanding of Qigong principles and practice as a whole. So really pleased to finally have this done, finally have this available. Anyway, I've probably rambled on enough for now. Um, if you've liked the vlog, you know, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all those good things. If you, if you know someone who you think might be interested in the Elemental Alchemy program, um, maybe you can share it with them. Um, yeah. That's probably all I have to say for now.